Welcome. I'm excited to share some neck stretches that are in line with the spa yoga style. More than ever, we're carrying so much stress and anxiety in our necks, our shoulders, and our jaws. And so what if we just gave ourselves a little bit of time every day to unlock some of that tightness? Or just a little bit. It can help in a big way. So you can sit comfortably. The great thing about these neck releases is that you can do them anywhere. You can do them sitting in a chair or on a couch or in your car or seated on the ground the way I am. Just make yourself comfortable wherever you are so there's no hip pain or knee pain. And I'll give you a little kind of snippet of many different neck stretches and you can try them later on on your own out in the world when you need a minute for yourself. So as you tap into deep breathing, start to slowly circle your head in one direction. Go really slowly and maybe even close your eyes just to give your eyes a break from the information they receive every day. Essentially, try to keep your torso still so your shoulders are stacked over top of your hips. And maybe even more slowly circling from the head and the neck. We're just easing in, easing in. And you take your time. Circle in the other direction. And meet me eventually with the head kind of tipped over to the right, right ear over to right shoulder. Tall spine. Breathe into your neck. Not getting too carried away with overanalyzing what you're feeling or labeling it as good or bad. Just give your neck breath. You can remain as you are, so I'll offer different kind of options in all the poses. So either as you are, full breaths, or you can take your right hand across to the top of your left shoulder. Just kind of weight the shoulder down as your head leans away from it. And perhaps add in a little massage now with your right hand going up towards your ear and then down towards your shoulder a couple of times. Be aware of your breath the whole while as you knead and squeeze and give your neck <laughs> this manipulation here, the good manipulation. Hands come down to knees, roll your chin to your chest nice and slow. And over to the other side. So now your left ear tips over to your left shoulder. Dive into your breath. And either stay as you are or your left hand can weight down on top of the right shoulder. And maybe see what it feels like to add in that little bit of massage up towards your ear and then down a few times across the top of the shoulder and a little more around the neck too. Hands to knees, chin down to chest. With your chin tucked down to your chest, look down the front of your body, basically. And see if you can still lift your chest up to your chin while tucking chin down. Breathe into the back of your neck. And then notice what happens if you sway your chin left to right just the slightest bit can be insightful. Just swing chin or maybe a little more from left armpit over to right armpit. Can you keep your breath deep? It's 
to that real nectar of the breath. It's just helping to kind of coax, so coax open and unclog all that gets caught up in the neck and buried in the neck. Deep breath is everything. And really slowly lift your chin back up. Okay, now tip your right ear over to your right shoulder. And try walking your left fingertips out to the left, away from your left hip. Just using the weight of your skull to hang in the opposite direction. We're not overexerting. <laughs> Again, it's all breath. And then perhaps you could lift your left hand with me. Keep reaching your left fingertips to the left. And then see what happens when you flip your palm up to the ceiling with fingers spread apart. Take your arm back an inch or two in space. Forward. And then go back again, full breath. Try to lift your chin an inch. Three more breaths here. Notice that other shoulder as well, softening down. Gently bring hands to knees. Use your right hand into your right temple. Push your head up. Shift your head to the other side now, left ear over to left shoulder. Walk your right fingertips to the right away from that. This might be perfect, or you could explore and maybe connect to something um, new and interesting. So you could lift your right fingertips off the ground a little, maybe flip your palm up. Be aware of both shoulders <laughs> drawing down. Try to take your right arm back slightly and forward and then back again. And now lift your chin an inch. So right eye, the right eye can peek up to the ceiling. Three deep breaths, the whole right side of your neck. Good. Gently, hands come to knees. Use your left hand into your left temple. Push your head up. Take a full cleansing breath. Inhale. Open your mouth. You're feeling it. You're feeling that release. Switch the cross of your legs if you're sitting cross-legged with me. Moving on to an eagle arm variation. So wrap your right elbow under your left elbow. The other thing you could play around with is just kind of holding onto your fingertips if that makes this more accessible or with your hands on your outer shoulders. Just a few options for you. And then from this eagle arm position, um, lift your elbows, whatever version of eagle arms, elbows lift. Stretch your breath wide across your upper back. Right? So we're compressing the chest here. Give your upper back big breath. And then let your elbows fall towards your chest. Right ear over to right shoulder, deep breath. Chin down to chest. Slowly roll your head to the left. Chin to chest. Gently lift your head with care. Just release your arms. Give them a little shake. And then left elbow under right elbow in front of you for eagle arms or do that other variation that you could access with full breaths. 
tall spine, lift up out of your lower back, lift your sides up, and now take your elbows forward and up just a little bit is great. Notice what you're sensing in your upper back, around your shoulders. Let your elbows kind of tuck into your chest, right ear over to right shoulder, full breath. Roll your chin down to your chest and to the left, deep breath. And chin down to chest, slowly lift your head as your arms come down. So for another lovely neck release into the front of the neck now, can't forget these guys, right? They get locked and stuck into position as well. So we need to target this area, kind of around the scalenes, um, some of the bigger muscles in the neck or on the sides. One palm on your upper chest, the front sides, and then your other palm on top of that, Use your hands, they're going to be active here to firmly push into your chest and use your hands to pull down on that skin. Now from there, lift your chin up. A little can be effective, right? So just go bit by bit rather than going full tilt. Lift your chin a touch, big breath, pull down with your hands. Now move your hands to the right, still looking up. Pull down on the right side of your chest. Tip your head to the left away from that. Come back to center, chin up through center as well in the middle, deep breath. Slide your palms to the left under your left collarbone, pull down and tip your head to the right as your chin lifts. One more in the center. Slow, smooth movements. Hands pulled down on the skin. Tip your face up, maybe a little more. Slowly, slowly bring your head back with your chin parallel to the ground, your hands on your knees. Lengthen the sides of your waist up, lengthen the back of your neck up. And thank yourself for taking this time. A couple of simple neck releases. Even just a couple minutes every day can be effective. Thank you to the body. Thank you to the breath. Keep showing up for yourself. Keep showing up in gratitude. Keep showing up for every breath. It's a perfect place to be. Take care. Thank you for joining and hope to see you again soon for some more of these neck releases and some different ones.